The BMW X1 is the most affordable crossover SUV in the brand's lineup but hardly seems like it when you drive it. It's enjoyable to drive and pretty roomy for a little SUV. BMW has also packed in a lot of its latest technology features. A cumbersome engine stop-start system and odd transmission tuning, though slightly tarnish what is otherwise a well-done vehicle. How does the X1 drive? Our BMW X1 test car came with the M Sport package that adds 19-inch wheels wrapped in high-performance summer tires. At our test track, the X1 accelerated from 0 to 60 mph in 5.9 seconds, which is noticeably quicker than the Audi Q3 and Mercedes GLB. The power from the four-cylinder is smooth and strong, but wonky transmission tuning keeps the car in too high of a gear a lot of time, leaving the X1 feeling flat-footed when you need a quick burst of power. Around turns, the X1 provides huge amounts of grip and stays balanced and controllable. The M Sport package's summer tires and adaptive suspension are definite advantages here. Sport mode considerably firms up the steering feel, making the driving experience even better on tight roads. At city speeds, the X1 is a mixed bag. We like the light effort steering and smooth stopping brakes. The steering and small size make it easy to park too. But getting away from a stoplight is sometimes a challenge due to the horrid engine stop-start system. It turns off the engine at strange times, and the engine restart is rough and shoves the car forward. How comfortable is the X1? While the M Sport-specific seats are a bit more firm than necessary, they're very supportive and hold you in the right places through a fast corner. In the same vein, the M Sport adaptive suspension is also on the firmer side and makes everyday driving a somewhat bumpy ride. Comfort-minded customers should skip the M Sport package to avoid these two components. BMW doesn't offer ventilated front seats on the X1, Mercedes does for its GLB. BMW also routes all of the climate controls through the touchscreen interface. It results in a sleek-looking cabin, but using the touchscreen to change climate settings is a more distracting process than traditional physical buttons in our experience. How's the interior? As an entry-level crossover from a luxury brand, the BMW X1 doesn't feel like it's missing out on much. Overall space is plentiful for the class, mainly due to this car's boxy proportions. Considering the crossovers that it competes against, the BMW X1 has generous space in both rows with no shortage of either legroom or headroom. The X1 is just tall enough to make getting in and out of the door openings a breeze for most people. Once you're in the driver's seat, there are no major blind spot issues to report. That said, we found some shorter drivers had trouble seeing the head-up display without moving the seat to an odd position.